September 1st. Self-watch. Keep thy heart above all that thou guardest, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs 4.23 Said Peter to our Lord, Spare thyself this death of which thou speakest this bitter suffering and anguish shall never be thine. These words are continually spoken still, and many are the voices that bid us spare ourselves the voices of our friends who love us, the voices of prudence and worldly wisdom, the voices of our own wayward hearts. Do not spare your judgment of yourself. Never permit yourself to do things which you would be the first to condemn in others. Never suppose that there are reasons for you to do a wrong, which, under no circumstances would you tolerate in your neighbor. Do not spare yourself in confessing your sins and mistakes. Confession is one of the tests of nobility. Not a few are willing to confess to God, who never attempt to confess to men. It is a serious question whether that sorrow for sin is genuine and deep enough which does not lead the offender to ask his fellow man for pardon, even as he asks his God. Nothing could be clearer than Christ's words, that whenever we remember that our brother has ought against us, we are to leave our gift at the altar, and go first to seek reconciliation with him, before we offer our sacrifice to God. The supreme test of goodness is not in the greater but in the smaller incidents of our character and practice, not what we are when standing in the searchlight of public scrutiny, but when we reach the firelight flicker of our homes, not what we are when some clarion call rings through the air, summoning us to fight for life and liberty, but our attitude when we are called to sentry duty in the gray morning, when the watch fire is burning low. It is impossible to be our best at the supreme moment if character is corroded and eaten into by daily inconsistency, unfaithfulness, and besetting sin. You cannot really help people without expending yourself. The only work that tells must cost you something. Gold, silver, and precious stones can never be built into the New Jerusalem unless you are willing to part with them from the stores of your own life. Prayer Most loving Father, may love fill and rule my heart. For then there will spring up and be cherished between thee and me a likeness of character, and union of will, so that I may choose and refuse what thou dost. Amen.